Hello, how's it going? Welcome back to some more F1 Manager 2022 and another part of our Aston Martin career mode. Today, we are back with the Mexican Grand Prix. We've got three races to go in Season 3. The Championship is still very much on after we had what was perhaps our worst race of... Uh, the season and probably our worst race in season one if i'm completely honest with you in the last episode in uh, america it was a really really poor performance and uh yeah hopefully that will be eradicated but uh, thank you for the support on the series so far if you're still enjoying it give it a big thumbs up down below uh it would be fantastic if we could hit uh, 100 likes for the first time in a little while on this video there's enough of you watched it so do take that little bit of time just to leave that like down below to show your appreciation for the series and uh, nearly well nearly 65 uh, consecutive days yeah i suppose uh, although I, I guess we were doing two videos a day for the first two weeks so um yeah <laughs> more like 50 odd consecutive days of uh f1 manager which is fantastic and uh long long may it continue at least for this season and, and we'll see going into season four but the best way that you can ensure that's happening is by leaving a like and getting involved down in the comment section below so without further ado let's get ourselves immersed into the action and uh, first things first we should have a development point to give out somewhere or other so let's have a little look and well we actually don't um alonso's car apparently needs sorting out uh actually no i think it's his contract expiring isn't it yeah that's what that is okay so i think we're all right for now let's just have a little look at our current projects we've got three research projects underway and uh, it's four days until the mexican grand prix we're on 530 points in the constructors at the moment and uh that's looking pretty much in the bag but in the drivers 68 points ahead of max verstappen uh 46 points ahead of our teammate pierre gasly or, or i guess his teammate fernando alonso's teammate people will kill me in the comments for that uh <laughs> that there they are not uh, I, i'm not preferring fernando alonso um it, it is as far as I'm concerned, a pretty straight fight between the two of them. I'd love to see it go down to the wire in the last race of the year. Uh, next season, we are looking at replacing, at the very least, Fernando Alonso. Uh, lots of people have said, well, why don't you wait for Pierre Gasly for another season? Give him another chance against his new teammate. Uh, let him run down his contract next season and then potentially get in a, a Lando Norris or, or somebody like that the year after uh, to partner Lewis Hamilton and that's not a bad shout actually uh, if we look at Lando Norris he, he will be out of contract next year and I think honestly I, I think he is the, the future of this game world um, but the risk there of course is that you miss out on two very very quality drivers in Carlos Sainz and, and Charles Leclerc um, I mean, particularly Carlos Sainz has incredible stats in this game, and, and I think he would be a fabulous replacement for Pierre Gasly, who who is struggling a little bit. I mean, his, his stats are pretty good, his attributes, sorry. Um, and, of course, he is younger than Carlos Sainz by two years, so hopefully by the time he's 30, we'll be up to that level. But uh, we'll see. Uh, but anyway, let's continue on and see where we go to okay so there is the mexican grand prix preview um right let's have a look at performance targets so and qualifying position let's say both will finish in the top six even though we didn't reach q3 last time that was pretty embarrassing wasn't it that was yeah, just awful, really. And we cannot afford to be doing that this time. That's for certain. So, both drivers in the top six. Both drivers getting through to Q3. Uh, let's have a look at the circuit in for what we expect in strategy-wise. Uh, potentially a two-stop, medium-hard, medium. 
or hard, medium, 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 hard, anything like that. But uh, not looking like we're going to need a lot of soft tyres, so let's get ourselves into the action and see how it goes. Music is in the air this weekend, but it's not Mariachi we'll be hearing. It's going to be the roar of the engines and the cheers of the crowd. Formula One is back in the very heart of Mexico City at the Autodromo Hermanos Rodriguez. This is an exhilarating circuit on the Formula One calendar. We'll be sure to see plenty of battles and overtaking this weekend, especially with the help of not one, not two, but three DRS zones. This is it. We're down to the last few races of the season, and it's time for that final push. Who will be crowned champion at the end of it all? We'll find out soon enough. OK, then. Let's get to it. Right then, uh, so it looks like it's going to be a wet Saturday. That's certainly going to be interesting. But um, before we get into qualifying, I do just want to promote something that very exciting that's happened recently for the channel, and that's partnering up with 2game.com. I'm absolutely delighted to now be an affiliate partner with 2game.com. Use the code CGS at the checkout for a 5% discount. Okay, so looking pretty good at the end of FP3 then. 97% setup confidence for Pierre Gasly, 98% for Fernando Alonso, and we're going to make absolutely sure that we've got uh, the best engine possible on the car for the rest of the season now. This will take us through to the end of Abu Dhabi, and we shouldn't need to take any more engine penalties unless we do, of course, have a bit of a... Uh, a problem with our uh, cars and crashes, that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, hopefully that won't be the case. I think we've had our fair share of uh, shockers this season already, so I'm hoping that we're, we're past that now. But uh, let's get ourselves into qualifying, see how they get on in Q1. Uh, oh, well, one and two. It's a long time since that's happened. Goodness me, Pierre Gasly won, uh, Fernando Alonso two. And what a way it would be to uh, redeem ourselves for last race uh, if we were able to get a one two today. One and four in Q2 then. Um, going out in Q2, some of the big names Sebastian Vettel, Lando Norris, of course. Um, and interestingly, the Williams cars out qualifying others around them, which is really, really good to see. So let's get ourselves into Q3 then. Uh, we got our brand new sets of soft tyres. I think we're going to just go for it in this session. So without further ado, let's get ourselves into the action. Here we go. We do, I think, because it, it must have rained at some point. Um, we've only actually used two sets, so we do have two brand new sets of tyres, by the looks of it, for Q3, which is good. So we might as well just go for the one run on, on new tyres and keep a, a set back for that second run. I'm assuming the AI are going to have that as well. Charles Leclerc goes quickest. Uh, Verstappen follows with a 1.15.1. Russell's coming round. Didn't manage to do anything. What about Hamilton? Hamilton's starting his lap now. So, Russell and Hamilton 2-3. Ocon 4. Bottas in the top 10. And that's very, very good. So, of course, we want to be the last drivers over the line. There's definitely no chance of rain, I don't think. Well, Alonso might struggle to make the line here. Same with Gasly. Let's get them round there. Let's hope for the best here. This is going to be pretty close. Gasly's... The car behind, I think Fernando Alonso should definitely make it. 
I've got me question marks over Pierre Gasly though. Here he comes around the final corner and just with a second to spare manages to get over the line. That is crazy. Let's uh, hop on board with the world champion and champion elect you would potentially say uh, what a, a moment this could be for Fernando Alonso if he can take pole position. Uh, Leclerc goes over the line, Sainz goes over the line, no improvement. What about Verstappen? No improvement for him. Ocon goes over the line, no improvement. Um, and that's really, really interesting. What about Perez? Perez comes over the line, he goes fifth. What about Bottas? Stays eighth. Two Mercedes cars are going to come over the line next. Can they get anywhere near Max Verstappen? That's going to be the big question. Russell goes over, he can't improve. Hamilton goes second with a slightly quicker time than George Russell. What about Fernando Alonso? What sort of time can he go with here? Fernando's pretty much matched Max Verstappen in the second sector, but I don't think it's going to be enough. He comes up to the line. It's a 15-4, which puts him second for now. What about Pierre Gasly? Can he manage to get himself up into the front row he goes on a 15-4 and that's second which will give him pole position after Max Verstappen's grade penalty but uh, that is pretty bonkers that they set almost identical well they did set identical times which in theory should mean uh, Fernando Alonso gets the pole position but there, there must be a millisecond between them uh, Lewis Hamilton a thousandth of a second ahead of George Russell, very, very good uh, from all the drivers there. So let's see how we get on in the race tomorrow. This is going to be exciting. Race day has arrived and the time has come for these drivers to fight it out wheel to wheel. There was some astonishing work from Aston Martin during qualifying and their drivers are now poised to have a very strong race start. While this isn't the strongest grid position for Ferrari, qualifying isn't everything. I'm curious to see if they can go against the tide and make this race work for them. A sunny day here with only a few clouds in the sky. If things stay this way, the weather shouldn't pose any challenges to the teams. Well, there's some serious decision making ahead for teams and the drivers as we begin the Mexican Grand Prix. Right then, into the Grand Prix we go. I don't think there's going to be any rain in the race today. We do have a, a brand new set of soft tyres if we need it. Don't think we should though. But of course, if there are any late safety car dramas, all the likes, then of course we can uh, reevaluate it. But um, I mean, potentially we could go for something a little bit more like that with the soft tyres towards the end could be could be quite a tactic maybe we'll do that with Pierre Gasly and, and do the normal strategy with Fernando Alonso and see how they get on uh, of course we're going to put in more fuel this race we were very much caught out last time with that um, with Fernando Alonso struggling to to finish I, th I think he actually did run out of fuel on the, the last lap but uh, let's see how we get on at the start of this Grand Prix it's time for the 2024 Mexican GP I don't want to tempt fate but there are quite a few clouds overhead as we look at the lineup on the grid and there we have Pierre Gasly there in P1 let's see if they can take advantage of that position and here's Alonso, the team's second driver. They're in second place on the grid, but that could so easily change in the first few seconds of the race. Will their hard work pay off today? This is it. Here we go with the Mexican Grand Prix. Here we are then. It's lights, lights out, out. Away, away we go, quicker start off the line for Fernando Alonso and it's a big long run down towards turn one. Who is going to come out on top here? 
It's Alonso versus Gasly. As they head into turn one, Lewis Hamilton and George Russell will definitely be getting involved in that as well. As, uh, well, Lewis Hamilton flies round the outside of the world champion Fernando there yeah, and his right. former teammate Pierre Gasly now trying to get away from these guys. Max Verstappen in fifth, so it was only a, a, a five place grid penalty. And, well, uh, Gasly is going to have to absolutely step on it in this first stint if he's going to make an impact on Hamilton in this first stint. Very, very good so far from Pierre Gasly. Good defending. And uh, Fernando Alonso now all over the back of Lewis Hamilton. Let's hop on board with Fernando. Is he going to be able to make the move? on the seven time world champion it goes round the outside but can't make it stick now down the inside that's an excellent move from fernando alonso and he's now back up into second position and he's trying to close the door on lewis but lewis is still in there and it's now going to be a battle of straight line speeds and alonso wins the first battle like of that so we have Just got pierre gasly 1.2 seconds ahead of fernando alonso at the head of the race uh, I think we're going to have to go neutral now because we will be absolutely made mincemeat of if we're in a position with no ERS down that main straight. So, Pierre Gasly leads. We've got Fernando Alonso in second. Lewis Hamilton follows in third. George Russell struggling to hang on in fourth at the moment. Max Verstappen is in fifth with Ocon in sixth place. Perez is seventh. Leclerc eighth. Battling with his teammate Carlos Sainz in ninth. And Bottas rounds out the top 10. Then Vettel just on the outskirts of the top 10 and 11th with Magnussen 12th, Norris 13th, then Ricardo Stroll, Giovinazzi, Schumacher, then Hulkenberg, Joe, and Alex Albon at the rear. But Pierre Gasly managing to maintain his lead in this first stint. He's lost about a tenth of a second to his teammate Fernando Alonso throughout that sector. He'll be trying his best to keep this going he knows that he's got a soft tyre stint at the end of this DRS is going to become enabled after this lap and Lewis Hamilton DRS enabled. is going to have a, an excellent run on Fernando Alonso and you have to say Hamilton has had a terrific end to the season so far is Max Verstappen now having a little look at George Russell is he going to go around the outside he's going to try and hold it around those corners and he is through and it looks like Max Verstappen is going to be past George Russell here uh, and let's just have a little check of the tyres most people on a brand new set of mediums we've got some people on softs uh, lower down the order but other than that uh, nothing happening here and there we go then Max Verstappen is through on George Russell George Russell still sticking with him though and that is surely going to affect their ability to stay with Lewis Hamilton they're still side by side as they go into the S's surely Verstappen is going to stay in front here and he does exactly that but George Russell is going to have DRS and now <laughs> punching a hole in the air and there you go George Russell back through good defence there from him Lewis Hamilton uh, has dropped out of the one second window now to Fernando Alonso so it should mean that our drivers have a, a fairly consistent first stint here as we head on to lap four of this Grand Prix, Lewis Hamilton does not have DRS. George Russell does. And there, himself and Max are going to catch right up to Lewis Hamilton here. And even though Lewis Hamilton has definitely been the quicker of the Mercedes so far in this race, advantage George Russell now as he closes right up to the gearbox of Lewis Hamilton. DRS enabled. Is he going to be able to go past his teammates here? Lewis goes over to defend, and he's not giving his teammate any favours there. As Max Verstappen right behind him. We've also got Ocon and Perez not too far behind as well. So could create quite the DRS train that behind the leaders. Pierre Gasly leading his teammate Fernando Alonso by 1.2 seconds. He needs to win every race from now until the end of the season and hope that Fernando Alonso struggles. He will make up uh, 
26 to 18, so that's 8, 16. He, he could make up 32 points on Fernando Alonso by the end of the season if he wins uh, and Alonso finishes second. That's not quite enough. 46 is the difference between them. So he needs something to happen to Fernando in one of those races. It's still very much in the world champion's hands uh, as we go into lap five of this Grand Prix. And I think it's time that we zoomed it on just a little bit. I think a Gasly and a Alonso uh, should now be safe from George Russell and co. That's going to be quite a long DRS train and we've managed to get out of that nonsense, which is really, really nice. Now, Alonso very slightly catching up to Pierre Gasly over the last couple of laps. Only a couple of tenths or so, but if he can get within the one second window, it'll give him a bit of an opportunity. But uh, not much is going to happen for the rest of this stint unless there's a safety car or some sort of mistake from one of the front two. And there you go. Multiple cars have crashed and the safety car is out. The safety car is out. So let's get ourselves harvesting. Safety car, safety car. Let's get ourselves conserving the tyres. Okay. Um, and yeah, we're a long way off pit windows. But I would love to see what happened. Uh, it looks like quite a big accident, yeah. And yeah it looks it. like potentially Carlos Sainz was involved with uh, Bottas. Don't, are we going to get to see a, a replay of it? It doesn't look like it. For some bizarre reason. But looked like it was between signs and Bottas. And as I said, you know, it was it was going to be <laughs> the safety car that potentially changes this and makes it a little bit more interesting. And that could well be the case. So safety car is in so this. Got lap. the safety car in. So Probably. need to go standard, aggressive. Just realised we've uh, actually done the dirty on Pierre Gasly there. That was a mistake. So he's got a little bit less fuel, but it shouldn't matter too much. So now we're going to get racing again. Safety car Pierre Gasly's going to lead us away here. He's going to so step on it. Pace. Pick up the pace. Yeah. And here we go, we are underway once again in this Mexican Grand Prix. And Pierre Gasly is instantly going to be under pressure here from his teammate Fernando Alonso. We've got a, a couple of moves down behind, that is Lewis Hamilton side by side with his teammate who's side by side with Max Verstappen, but Hamilton stays ahead. Very, very close there, and George Russell now Trying to get ahead, Max Verstappen might see this as an opportunity to go down the inside, and he does. And Max Verstappen could well be up to third here if he plays his card right. Lewis Hamilton is the one on the inside. We've then got uh, George Russell in the middle, and Max Verstappen abiding his time behind those two. As our two guys uh, are pushing out front, trying to get over a second ahead of that nonsense behind. They do not want to be a part of that. And like we've seen in so many races this season so far, our cars just sensibly get themselves out of that one second window. Do a little bit of uh, ERS deployment to push ahead. Now a lap's done of it. And it should all be about pulling away now. So... Fernando Alonso now within a second of his teammate Pierre Gasly. So is Alonso going to have a look around the outside? He does try and break later. Ooh. And, you know, I don't think there's any love lost between these two. Especially after the Silverstone incident. Somebody spun in that first sector. Don't know who it was. I think it was perhaps Mick Schumacher. Alonso still bundling his way behind. Okay. Um, but we are ahead now. So, DRS, of course, becomes enabled. 
after this lap. DRS has been enabled. Look how close Fernando Alonso is to the back of Pierre Gasly's car. Just seem uh, to have slightly better straight line speed. Well, here we go then. Fernando Alonso, no DRS this time, but later in the lap we'll have it. Yeah, can't quite manage it. So, we're watching carefully here. I'm just really hoping there's not going to be a Silverstone-esque incident because that will bring Max Verstappen right back into it. So here we go then. He pulls out to the inside and Fernando Alonso is going to be leading this Grand Prix for the first time. And Fernando will get DRS again and he's got that opportunity to get more than a second in front of Pierre Gasly here with the use of DRS it's very nice and George Russell staying ahead of Max Verstappen I don't know how long he's going to be able to do that and then surely Max is going to just coast up to the back of our little group and the three championship contenders are going to be fighting it out at the front of this Grand Prix Fernando Alonso 7 tenths of a second behind Pierre Gasly now Pierre Gasly is closing in with the DRS to his teammate he's going to almost push him through the stadium section and he'll feel confident that he can get more than a second in front I think it's going to be a, a, a pretty race long battle between these two in this position so here we go then fastest lap for Fernando Alonso and here we go then with Pierre Gasly it should be a fairly straightforward overtake and then of course he gets the second bout of DRS and then he tries to get more than a, a second in front basically zooms off into the distance it's about seven tenths of a second ahead and it's not going to increase that by a lot through this sector and then Alonso will stay within a second and all of a sudden the cycle continues so I think that's uh, kind of how this race it's going to go for this first stint. But of course, Pierre Gasly will be stopping a little bit later than Fernando. And that could change what's happening. But now Max Verstappen was briefly up into third place. That's what could change this and might change our tack to try and cover off Max Verstappen. was so close to getting more than a second ahead of, of Lewis there so here we go then Fernando Alonso into his pit window and again he's going to make that move stick so let's just keep zooming it forward we need to keep an eye on Max Verstappen really he's the, the ace in the pack here could potentially ruin everything for us so Fernando not far away from his pit stop let's go and attack the tyres Gonna go aggressive with Gasly. You've got the margin to push. Copy. Gasly's got a little bit longer to go.
So we might as well take them to at least 50%. Alonso managing to stay in front as it stands. They are going at it hammer and tongs. Do have the yellow flags there briefly. So I think Fernando's going to come in this lap. He's going to pop on the hard tyres. Pierre Gasly is going to go one extra lap. Okay, box, box. Okay, copy, box. Safety car's out. Safety car is out. So, Pierre Gasly has to come in this lap then. It's a collision. And who Let's is out? Is that then. Sergio now, Perez? No, it's here. a Williams car. And he tried to go round the outside. That's a huge crash. Really see the contact. With um, safety car, safety car. Keep the double with the Haas. No overtaking. Now, whereabouts are they on the track? They're not far away. But yeah, we're going to have to double stack this. Big crash here. It was Kevin Magnussen and it was Nico Hulkenberg. Right then. So, we're going to be moving on to hard tyres for both. charge the pack. So here comes okay, in Gasly and uh, of course, well sorry, Fernando Alonso's in first. Understood, thank you. So we need to keep an eye on this. Yep, everybody in now. Alonso away, Gasly in. Gasly away. That was very, very slick. From those guys that was brilliant very smooth operation and, uh, well we're back out as uh, everybody is double stacking seemingly we do have a, a few that have gone through yeah Mick Schumacher staying out there interesting no real reason for that but yeah let's uh, zoom it forward and that beautiful 10 second gap that we'd built up safety car is in this lap safety car is in this lap Copy. Okay. Here we go then. Let's push. Copy. So can we make up that one second gap okay, copy. straight away here on these brand new hard tyres? Max Verstappen is going to have the best chance of anybody to stay with us in this race. So here we go. We are underway once again in this Mexican Grand Prix. Two safety cars. And I'll tell you what, there's going to be a little bit of change here because Carlos Sainz is going down the inside. Didn't look like there was anything done there. Bit of a shame for him, but Fernando Alonso leading the way. We've then got Gasly in second. Max Verstappen is P3. If he can stay with us, that could be a real problem for this middle stint. Fernando Alonso has got 20 laps in this one. Pierre Gasly, 24. So, Gasly definitely needs to look after the tyres just a little bit more than his teammate Fernando Alonso. But uh, they're making good ground on Max Verstappen as it stands. And amazingly, it's Fernando Alonso that is leading this Grand Prix. I think they're already a second in front, so back down to neutral they go. And they go about their day and try and build up that gap again to get the one-two. So, zooming it on. 
Well, there you go. Max Verstappen is right back into this. DRS has been enabled. So DRS enabled. Alonso is a second in front almost of Pierre Gasly. Max Verstappen is staying with the guys. This is what I feared. I feared that Max Verstappen would now get involved in this battle because he's been able to pull away from Charles Leclerc. He's now no longer involved in a DRS train behind, so he can just push. And he was very much the quickest guy in qualifying. So Max Verstappen, in theory, has the quickest car around here. We know that. And now the DRS is enabled. Gasly has, without a doubt, got to stay within a second of Fernando Alonso here. Otherwise, he's going to be in big trouble because he's going to be down to third and will struggle to fight. Here comes Max Verstappen already. Having a little look. Now, uh, they're virtually pushing each other through the stadium section. This is going to be a three-way battle for the lead. So here we go. On lap 30 of 71, Pierre Gasly, DRS enabled. Is he going to be able to make a move on his teammate Fernando Alonso? Or is Max Verstappen going to be able to make a move on both of them? Pierre Gasly pulls to the outside. Last of the late break as into turn one there, side by side, Alonso and Gasly. As Max Verstappen is just waiting for whatever unfolds here. Pierre Gasly should be able to make the move, and he does. Now Max Verstappen, is he going to pull to the inside and have a look at Fernando? Not quite this lap, but he knows he can bide his time. This is very, very good from uh, the two-time world champion Max Verstappen. Now then, Fernando Alonso. He's going to try and get past Gasly here. What he's not going to do is leave his teammate vulnerable to an overtake from Max Verstappen. As you feel if Max gets to the front, that's where he could stay. Gasly, very so. Oh, and Max locks up and he's off. Wow, that could have been massive. That could have been massive. That was huge there from Verstappen. Let's have a look. He locked up. He Max pulled to the inside. That was a and he just goes up. through the middle of our cars there. Costly. That could have changed the championship complexion. As it stands, that's probably him out of the World Championship now. We can take a look now. We're just watching the Wow, I mean that was that was massive. That was absolutely massive. And he's down to 17th now. And relax. So back to us pulling out a lead. On the other guys. It's uh, Esteban Ocon in third place and well, Max Verstappen. He will be gutted because that was that was a big chance as i said he just needed really to to bide his time behind uh, alonso and gasly and instead he just messed up and, and he was very very fortunate not to collect i think it was gasly gasly was the one behind at that point you can see uh, alonso and gasly exchanging positions lap after lap and well Max Verstappen would have been involved in this instead he's stuck behind Albon he's just got past him should find it fairly straightforward to catch up to the back of Hulkenberg and Co doesn't want to lose out to Albon that would wreck his race very nearly did though Let's uh, have a little peek at the battle between Alonso and Gasly. So Alonso leading the way. Gasly is going to be straight back past here. And this is just going to be a race-long battle. But the real key point of the race is going to be Alonso comes in, puts on the medium tyres, has four laps in which to undercut Pierre Gasly. And then Pierre Gasly... Is going to have the soft tyres versus the medium tyres towards the end of the Grand Prix. The longer Gasly can stay on this hard compound, the better it 
his chances are going to be in this race, you feel. So it's very much the long game for both drivers here. As we're just about to trickle over the halfway mark. And Last there's a, a faster lap. lap for Pierre Gasly. Very nice. I think now we're going to have to go balanced with uh, both of our guys. Just to try and make sure that we get there. Uh, oh, and somebody's ha had another crash, and it looks like okay. Giovinazzi. Got a yellow flag. I Copy. think. Yeah, Giovinazzi did crash. I let's take think he's okay, replay. though. Now let's watch this. The Alfa Romeo involved in this one. Oh, yeah, I think he's okay. It was probably just a, a potential puncture there. But nothing too concerning. But once again, we've built out that 10 second gap to third place. I don't really know how we're so quick, where we found this pace from. But we are just pulling away from the rest of the pack. Now we're, we're not too far away from pit stops. Eight laps away from Fernando Alonso. Twelve laps away from Pierre Gasly. Plus three, of course. That's just the start of the pit window. And yeah, Max Verstappen, he is just struggling. He's back past Zhou Guan Yu now. Up into twelfth place. And he'll be very much hoping that he can catch the back of that Carlos Sainz up to Daniel Ricciardo group very very quickly as we've got Fernando Alonso leading with Pierre Gasly at the front they're switching positions lap after lap uh, Esteban Ocon's doing a good job in third place at the moment yeah we're not too far away from pit o'clock If we'd had a, a normal race without any safety cars, I think potentially Alonso and Gasly would have lapped most of the field by this point. They are just in an absolute league of their own at the moment. 12 seconds ahead of third place, Charles Leclerc, as it currently stands. This is without particularly pushing. a lot more pace in the car if we need it so big moments coming up soon Fernando Alonso in his pit window so we are going to attack with him and I think we're going to attack with Pierre Gasly as well Alonso will be coming in soon that is fastest lap We have got a yellow flag. What's a yellow flag for? Somebody ran wide. Was that a lock up on the track? It's Giovinazzi again. Now. I think Fernando's going to come in this lap. He's going to put on the medium tyres. He's got a little bit left in his tyres. So I suppose we could delay it by a lap, couldn't we? And to be honest, it's whether we uh, put him on the soft tyres now. The final stint. And keep them nice and close together on track. I think we're going to go for the, the new one. We're delaying it by a lap though. And yeah, Alonso now all of a sudden has gained that time on Pierre Gasly. I think it was getting past Giovinazzi that uh, 
Gasly has struggled with. So we're going to delay it a lap for Fernando Alonso. We're going to bring Pierre in this lap. So let's uh, hop on board with Pierre Gasly. He's coming in. Going to give him the chance to get back in. Not too far behind Fernando Alonso. So let's see. Gasly's going to come out. Gonna change him to standard. Just look after this tire set, though. Look after it. Okay. So Gasly's come out 3.1 behind Sebastian Vettel. I'm assuming those guys are going to be coming in again, although they might not do. They might take those hard tyres all the way to the end of the race. So Gasly may have to force his way back through the field. Now, Fernando Alonso, he's going to be coming in this lap. And I think we can probably push the engine a little bit more in these final stint. Uh, or, or this final stint, I should say. Off. So here we go yeah. then. Fernando Alonso into the pit lane. He's going to be putting on the soft tyres. And where is he going to come out? Is he going to come out? Behind his teammate, Pierre Gasly. It's going to be pretty close, I think. So here we go. Fernando Alonso away. Pierre Gasly coming round the final corner now. Who's going to come out in front? Alonso leaving the pit lane. This is going to be so close. And Alonso actually comes out in the middle of the battle between Vettel and Leclerc. So that's a, a big loss for Pierre Gasly. And that honestly could have huge championship ramifications Gasly now a little bit stuck behind Sebastian Vettel and well it's it's all going to come down to these final few laps Ocon leading the race uh, Perez currently in second Alonso in third could definitely cause issues here as we're trying to get through the field Gasly behind is he going to be able to get past Sebastian Vettel here that's a big question he's going to have DRS not going to be able to, to make it stick though right then so Fernando Alonso right in behind Ocon and Perez here who are side by side I think Let's get deploying on the ERS now. Let's see if we can get past both of them on this straight. He pulls to the inside. He's going to need to do that again here if he wants to get past Esteban Ocon, who wildly moves to the inside. But Fernando, I think, is going to go around the outside, and he's back into the lead of this Grand Prix. That's brilliant. This is awesome work. Come on. From Fernando He's got DRS to try and pull away as well. Back Gasly now work. trying to get past both Perez and Sainz. And well, he's done a great job there, to be fair. You're looking good at the moment. So, Fernando Alonso now leads. We've got Ocon in second. Gasly's going to be past him Aston very, Martin very soon here. Up the field. Look at this. He is so far be up behind Ocon. He's losing time through this little section. And here we go then, with DRS. Pull to the inside. Nope, not doing it. He needs to pull in on Fernando Alonso. Sooner rather than later. We got the two Mercedes cars right down the order. That's interesting Fernando Alonso's just put in fastest lap here we go then with Pierre Gasly he's gonna have DRS pulls to the inside let's watch him go past and he does very very easily and he's gonna have DRS of course on the next straight as well and that's gonna bring him closer into Fernando Alonso how close is he gonna get to Fernando here DRS enabled that's gonna bring him closer 
So 1.5 seconds is now the gap. It's up to Pierre Gasly now. He's got to get within that one second if he wants to save the championship. That's what he's got to do. He's got to get within a second of his teammate and try and pass him by the end of the Grand Prix. He's doing a good job. 1.2 seconds is the gap. Now Gasly has used a little bit more of his tyres to get past those guys. A little bit confused. I'm just double checking that we didn't actually use the wrong tyres there, but uh, Alonso's got much nicer tyres in the bank than Pierre Gasly. So, let's see if as uh, Pierre is now the proud owner of the fastest yeah. lap. Look how much time we've made on, on Ocon. Straight away now. Max Verstappen, he's down in seventh place. And he's going to struggle to feature in this conclusion. 1.2 seconds the gap between Alonso and Gasly. I think it's going to be down to the, the final few laps. But I think Alonso's just got a little bit more in the bank than Gasly. And ultimately that's what will make the difference on those last couple of laps. And Alonso can virtually seal the championship in these next few laps. 1.3 seconds the gap now. In those early laps that Gasly was ahead. Alonso couldn't do anything about it. It was the safety car that changed everything there. Now could there be one final sting in the tail in this race? One final twist to throw upon everybody. I oh, don't know, I don't think Gasly's got enough now. But i tell you what we're going to do. We're going to give him the opportunity. We're going to tell him to use his ERS. We're going to give him the chance to be within a second and show what he can do. Caution on the back. Run out of battery. Copy it. Should get a little bit more at this first corner. So we'll tell him to use it through these next couple of corners. 1.1 seconds the gap here. As he now starts to close in again. Again gets 29% from that corner alone. He's now very close to being within a second. And there you go. So, we're now going to just let them fight it out from this point. They're back within a second of each other, and it should lead to an incredible end to this race. And Pierre Gasly, of course, doesn't have any ERS left. That could be a problem. Of course, uh, we've got a <laughs> Giovinazzi. Oh, sorry, I think it's uh, Mick Schumacher, actually who's not far ahead, I think just less than a second ahead of Fernando Alonso. So Alonso's going to have DRS down the next two straights as well. Or is he? Well, Alonso doesn't seem to have DRS, and that's going to bring Gasly nice and close to Fernando here. And look at this. Well, well, well. Mick Schumacher has changed this race. So Gasly now has a chance to make a move on his teammate. I certainly wasn't anticipating that. So, uh, Nico Hulkenberg back into the pits. And Russell into the top ten, by the way. So the Mercedes cars 
making their way through. Ricardo and Stroll battling for eighth place as it stands. We have got six laps to go. Oh, it's Gasly side by side with Fernando here. And he's back into the lead, but Alonso down the inside. And they're still side by side as they go up to the line now. Five laps to go. And Fernando Alonso is the one with DRS, so he's going to be able to try and pull away from his teammate as they go into these final five laps and you, wow I mean how are we 20 seconds ahead of Sergio Perez on the hard tyres that is ridiculous they've all dipped below 50% now Russell and Hamilton are very much going to be in the battle of, of trying to move forward in these next few laps they're on the medium tyres so there's no real wonder why they're closing in so much on all these guys five laps to go Pierre Gasly managing to follow Alonso through just about staying within a second and well, another lapped car is coming up very very shortly in the shape of Antonio Giovinazzi and again he could really cause us some issues if well it, it all depends on when we come across him if we come across him in a DRS zone four laps remain. then Alonso will get DRS here we go then with Pierre Gasly DRS enabled Alonso pulls to the inside I think he's going to be defending with ease into turn one but Gasly's going down the inside that could have been a bit of a move, a little bit of a dummy, and that's actually throwing Fernando Alonso off guard. And now Gasly's got an excellent run with DRS. He pulls to the outside. It would be a very, very impressive move if he could make it round. Turn four, and they are side by side. And managed to keep it clean. And uh, Pierre Gasly now into the lead of this race. And would you believe it? We're within a second of Giovinazzi. Gasly, I think, has just managed to make it through. Fernando Alonso stuck behind. But, of course, will have DRS and now closes in on Pierre Gasly himself. He's going to have a little look down the inside here. That's a huge move for Fernando. Manages to make it stick as Gasly nearly shoved Alonso into the wall. This is very very nerve wracking stuff as we go into the final three laps of this Grand Prix they are side by side as they go up to the line and it's uh, Fernando Alonso very slightly in front and once again he's going to have the opportunity to try and pull ahead here and last time he got within about a tenth of achieving that so DRS enabled again he's pulling away from Gasly Gasly needs to stay within a second here or it's all over Alonso just slightly pulling out the gap if he gets another half a tenth he's basically going to guarantee victory but I don't think it's going to happen I think Gasly's going to stick within DRS range he's just about done it and he has well that was unbelievable and now he closes right back in on Fernando now fuel's an interesting one are we going to have enough fuel to get right to the end we're going to head into the final two laps of this Grand Prix Fernando Alonso leading the way and Pierre Gasly is in second he's going to have DRS here he pulls right in on Fernando Alonso and he's going to have a great chance up into turn four Gasly having a little gander down the inside didn't quite go for it little dummy there and I think he'd actually be quite wise to stay behind Fernando Alonso at this point and it looks like he is going to so Gasly's playing the long game Gasly is going to leave it till the final lap of the race and will give them absolutely everything to attack with 
on that final lap. All the ARS in the world that they want. And of course, for Fernando Alonso, that will equate to a lot more because he didn't need to use as much to get through the traffic. Is Gasly now having a little look. Is he going to get past, actually? He's going to have a look round the outside. Oh, this... I don't think this is the right decision from Gasly, but maybe Alonso's holding back. And I think Alonso's going to have DRS... But is he? I, I don't know. I think Gasly's going to have DRS as they go on to the final lap of the race. Here we go. And it is Alonso that has DRS. So I think he's going to do it now. ARS deployment. I think Alonso absolutely timed his attack perfectly there. And Alonso now with DRS, ARS. I think he's going to pull away from Pierre Gasly. And now... Yeah, okay. The gap is over a second. And unless Fernando Alonso makes a mistake here, I think it's all going to be over. Fernando Alonso is going to win it. I thought Gasly had it, you know. I thought he was right behind Alonso. But now he's uh, out of DRS range. Fernando Alonso still pushing hard with his ERS and he's going to come round the final corner and Fernando Alonso is going to do it he's going to win here in Mexico for his 11th victory of the season so Alonso oh, wins and back, Pierre yeah. Gasly finishes second in yeah, the end and faster slap as well for Fernando okay, at the end there a 117 very very good from Fernando and that was a perfectly timed attack and again another big duel between our two drivers this season it's been a very very good battle but as has been the case most of the time it's that man there that has had the better of his teammate and the better of the battles and there you go then, Fernando Alonso wins uh, Esteban Ocon meanwhile he's battling with Sergio Perez for third place, it looks like Ocon is going to get it. So here we go, round the final corner. And Ocon is going to get another podium this season. He finishes third, Perez finishes in fourth. Verstappen fifth, Vettel in sixth, followed by Leclerc in seventh. Russell comes over the line in eighth place. Stroll finishes ninth, second consecutive points finish for him. And Ricardo finishes tenth. Here comes Lewis Hamilton outside of the points in 11th. Uh, Zhou Guan Yu and Lando Norris are going to finish 12th and 13th. Sainz is coming round and finishing in 14th. Albon uh, following him and Nico Hulkenberg is going to be the last to reach the checkered flag in 16th position. weekend here from Fernando Alonso his team must be proud this podium is a true recognition of everyone who's been working so hard for this result And the talented veteran rounds off another great drive, adding to his impressive F1 podium tally. A lovely occasion as we see all three drivers clearly relishing their moments on the podium. Aston Martin having an extremely good day at the track. Absolutely. Whatever they're doing over at the team garage, I should think they're going to keep on doing it. After an intense weekend, the team ends in first place in the constructor standings.
Coming up in the next round is the Sao Paulo Grand Prix as we head to Brazil. Join us next time at Interlagos. So there you have it then, uh, another excellent Grand Prix, Fernando Alonso just having the better of his teammate there at the end and uh, beats Pierre Gasly to that 1-2, meaning in the driver standings he's now 54 points ahead of Gasly, meaning that he could, in theory, uh, once again win the World Championship in Brazil, but more than likely we are going to have uh, some sort of battle in Abu Dhabi. Um, but if Alonso finishes ahead of Pierre Gasly next time out, he will be a four-time world champion and you would say uh, with his stats very much deserved 11 wins as opposed to Pierre Gasly's two. But um, yeah, you know, it, <laughs> who knows what's going to happen over the next couple of Grand Prix. There was a couple of um, really close moments today. Max Verstappen obviously with that big lockup could have went straight into the back of either Gasly or Alonso so it's not necessarily all wrapped up yet uh, the constructor so 168 points ahead of Red Bull so I think that's pretty much uh, secured now um, trying to do the maths yes I think that is completely secured now so we've won the constructors again which is fantastic Red Bull back up to second ahead of Ferrari who've had a really poor weekend this time and Mercedes uh, still down in fourth. They had a, a, a bit of a struggle weekend this time. So let's see if there's any development points. A lot of experience gained from Gasly uh, and a lot for Fernando Alonso as well. So two development points there. And Oscar Piastri, of course, has his uh, usually weekendly development point in addition to that. So £4.8 million pound in the bank in profit. And... And that leaves us with two races to go in Season 3. And we'll be back tomorrow with the Sao Paulo Grand Prix at uh, Interlagos, which is going to be a good one. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then give it a big thumbs up down below. Subscribe for plenty more F1 Manager videos. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.